what's going on guys uh, let's do this problem right here so let's find the volume of the given expression so the first thing we do is we draw the graph of this function so this is going to be a parabola opening up since it's a positive x square so it's going to be opening up right so let's draw the diagram let's draw the graph so it's going to be look like this and opening up and also they have mentioned that uh, it's rotating around rotating at y is equal to 4 so at y is equal to 4 it's going to be a line like this right so it's going to be a line like this since this is parallel to x-axis everything is going to be in terms of x so this is uh, rotating at y is equal to 4 therefore this is also 4 this is 0 and the region we are interested in is this region right here right so let's see how we can find it and uh, the only thing we have to care about in this one we have to find the radius so the ra radius is going to be from the rotating region to the curve so that's going to be the radius so let's see how we can find the radius right here and we know that uh, this height right here from here to here this height is y and this is r and we know the total distance from here to here it's 4 right so we know that r plus r plus y is equal to 4 therefore r is going to be equal to 4 minus y right and here now i as i mentioned already like since it, this is parallel to x axis we have to write everything in terms of x so we have to write this r in terms of x here we have in terms of y so we have to convert this one into x and also we know that the equation of this line is equal to y is equal to x square so we can replace this y with x square so this is going to be 4 minus x square so since we have the radius we can directly plug this into the equation to find the volume so let's try the volume equation volume equation is y times integral since it's y going uh, a to b a to b phi r square right r x square dx so now, now we have to find the limits of integral that's going to be 0 to 4 so that's our limits of integral so this is going to be phi 0 to 4 now we can replace this r with this value this is going to be 4 minus x square square dx so we can expand this one and multiply this so if we expand this one this is going to be 5 0 to 4 4 minus x square times 4 minus x square dx so let's do the multiplication 4 times 4 is going to be 16 4 times x square that's going to be minus 4x square and here minus x square times 4 that's going to be minus 4x square and then we have minus x square times minus x square that's going to be plus x power 4 so now he, we can add this minus 4x square minus 4x square that's going to be 16 minus 8x square plus x power 4 now we can replace this one here so this is going to be 5 going from 0 to 4 16 minus 8x square plus x power 4 dx right now this one is easy to integrate so let's do the integration this is going to be the first one is going to be 16x divided by 1 so we don't have to write this and the next one is going to be 8x cubed divided by 3 and then the next one is going to be x power 5 divided by 5 and all of them are going from 0 to 4 and let's plug the values so 5 16 multiplied by 4 minus uh, mm, so one thing we can do we can take the common denominator or we can multiply and then take the common denominator right so 8 times 4 cube divided by 3 plus 4 power 5 divided by 5 then if you substitute 0 for these values all of them become 0 16 times 0 0 8 times 0 0 0 over 5 all of those we can sub simply subtract the 0 and that doesn't make any difference so let's do this one 5 16 times 4 is going to be 64 
and here we have 8 times 4 cube so 4 cube is basically 4 square is what 16 16 times uh, 4 is uh, 32 68 right 68 times 8 divided by 3 plus 4 power 5 so 4 power 5 is basically hmm, you know what uh, I made a mistake here it's uh, rotating around 4 but the limits of integration we have to calculate by equating these two lines x square is equal to 4 right so x square is equal to 4 because this y is equal to x square y is equal to 4 x square is equal to 4 so x is equal to 2 so this is going from 0 to 2 not 4 so that's a mistake so let's uh, let's correct it oh if it's 2 everything become easier So let's correct this one. So this is going from 0 to 2, 0 to 2, 0 to 2. Then here it's going to be 2. Now if I replace this one, this is going to be 5. 16 multiplied by 2 minus 8 times 2 cube over 3 plus 2 power 5 divided by 5. Then this is going to be 0. Now let's do the multiplication. 5 times 32 minus 2 cube is going to be 8. 8 times 8 is 64. 64 divided by 3 plus 32 power 5 32. 32 divided by 5 then minus 0. Then here we can take the common denominator as 15. So this is going to be 15 common denominator. 5 times uh, 15 common denominator. If I take common denominator 15, I have to multiply this one by 15. So 32 times 15 is going to be 480 and then 64. So here we have 3. So 64 times 5 is going to be what 320. Then uh, this one is going to be multiplied by 3. So 32 multiplied by 3 is going to be 96. So 96 then minus 0. Minus 0 we can avoid it. So let's do the calculation. <coughs> So 480 minus 320 is going to be 160, 160 minus 96 is going to be what, Four, mm, 64, so 64 divided by 15, 5, 64 divided by, mm, 480, 64 times 5 is 1, Wait, is it 64? 8x mm. cube, 2 cube is 8, right? 8, 64, yeah, 64. 64 multiplied by 5. <coughs> 64 multiplied by 5, 4 times 5 is 20. Um, 5 times 6 is 120, well, uh, five, 4 times 5 is 20, 5 times 6 is 30, 320, yeah, so it's going to be, yeah, I did it right, 480 minus 320 is going to be 160, 160 minus 96 is going to be, 464 right 64 divided by 50 times 5 and that's our final answer and that's how we do these kind of problems i hope you guys like this video see you next time